The number of the beast. Is it 616? 665? Or 666? Standard translations of the book of Revelation 13.18 read, This calls for wisdom. Let the one who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is 666. In the Greek manuscripts that contain the book of Revelation, the number of the beast varies between 616, 665, and 666. So, before we can calculate the beast's name, we must know the right number. Whilst some manuscripts spell out numbers in words, other manuscripts employ Greek letters in place of numerals. Those letters include these. Chi, which equals 600. Xi, which equals 60. Iota, which equals 10 and sigma, which equals 6. Thus, ki, xi, sigma is the usual Greek abbreviation of 666, and ki, iota, sigma of 616. Irenaeus, who died about 202 CE, wrote in 180 CE that there were already, in the late 2nd century, those who took the number of the beast to be 616. He wrote that those Christians were, instead of six tens, wanting there to be one ten, whereas he himself affirmed the number to be 666. He wrote, This number being found in all the most approved and ancient copies of the Apocalypse, and those men who saw John face to face bearing their testimony to it, while reason also leads us to conclude that the number of the name of the beast, if reckoned, according to the Greek mode of calculation, by the value of the letters contained in it, will amount to six hundred and sixty and six. The oldest known text of Revelation 13.18 is found quoted in a document written by Hippolytus of Rome, who died in the year 235 CE. In that document, titled On Christ and Antichrist, Hippolytus provides this quotation, Here is wisdom. Let him that has understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred threescore and six. The two oldest biblical manuscripts do not agree. One says 666, whilst the other says 616. Greek Papyrus 47, which was copied in the mid-3rd century CE, reads Chi, Xi, Sigma, that is 666. Greek Papyrus 115 which likewise was copied in the mid-century CE, reads Chi Iota Sigma, 616. The 4th century manuscript Codex Sinaiticus reads 660 and 6. The 5th century manuscript Codex Ephraimi Rescriptus reads 610 and 6. The 5th century manuscript Codex Alexandrinus reads 666. A few manuscripts dated after the 8th century read 660 and 6, employing a neuter form of 600. The 11th century manuscript 2344 reads 665. The numeral 616 was also read by two minuscule manuscripts, numbers 5 and 11, that unfortunately are no longer extant. 
Otherwise, all other extant manuscripts and translations read 666. By the end of the 2nd century CE, both numbers were current. Of the two oldest biblical manuscripts of Revelation, one reads 616 and the other 666. Two 3rd century leaders, Irenaeus and Hippolytus, preferred the number 666. The Uncial manuscripts from the 4th century and later perpetuate the 666 number. Thus, after the 5th century, the number 666 prevailed in hand-copied manuscripts. In ancient Greek letters, the word 60 does not look like 10, nor does the letter xi in xi sigma 666 resemble or sound like the letter iota in xi iota sigma 616. So the change was not likely made by mistake. Early Christians were trying to calculate the name of the beast employing Hebrew gematria. They would transcribe the names of historical persons in Hebrew letters, then add up the numerical values of those letters, looking for sums that matched 666 or 616. For many Christians, the most likely candidate for the beast was Nero Claudius Caesar Augustus Germanicus. That title was too long, so they took the names Nero Caesar and transcribed them in Hebrew. Greek speakers wrote his name Neron Kaiser, and Latin speakers Nero Caesar or Caesar. The Greek Neron Kaiser, transcribed in the Hebrew alphabet without vowels, gives letter values of 50, 200, 6, 50, 100, 60, and 200, which equal 666. However, the Latin Nero Kaiser, in the Hebrew alphabet without vowels, renders values of 50, 200, 6, 100, 60, and 200, which equals 616. Thus, Latin speakers would tend to modify 666 to 616, and Greek speakers 616 to 666. Because the book of Revelation was composed in Greek, and because the first generation of Christians were Greek-reading Jews, they would have read 666 in their Greek Bible and would have done their gematria from Greek. A century later, many Christians were Gentiles who spoke Latin and would have done their gematria from Latin altering their copies of the book of Revelation to read 616. Thus, we conclude that the original book of Revelation read 666, and some manuscripts copied later adopted 616.